Alice Christner is a family member of a great group of people who started Christner's Prime Steak and Lobster 21 years ago. Actually, it's Del Frisco's Prime Steak and Lobster. And Del Frisco's was the second in um, a, a, not a chain, but a, a restaurant group. Uh, it started out, uh, out from a young man named Dale Womstadt, and he had his first one in Dallas. And he and my father-in-law were very good friends, and my father-in-law wanted to go into the restaurant business. And Dale told him he was crazy because he was 56 years old, starting out, and so he came here to start his first restaurant, and so we were the second. And then um, several years later, Dale sold his name and concept to uh, Lone Star Steakhouse, who then opened up several more. And then several years later, they opened up, or they sold to Lone Star um, Private Equity Group, who then opened up several more. And they went public on the NASDAQ, opened up a new, con anyway, it got farther and farther away from who we were, and so we made uh, an agreement with the with the with the Del Frisco's Restaurant Group of today that we would be able to um, split off from them under our own family name, and we would allow them to come into this market in 2015, and they would allow us to use all the recipes that we were used to using that our customers have come to love. Because this is such a vibrant town with a lot of fluidity, there's always new people to come and and, and experience us. We do still have the same. Uh, customers that we had 21 years ago. We also still have some of the same uh, employees that we had 21 years ago. So there is, in that way, a lot of this continuity that we've kept. Um, but enjoying a really incredible good steak is always a new experience. If you haven't had the opportunity, enjoy something as, as upscale in steak as ours is. So um, in that way, it is new. But our we are a concept-driven um, restaurant as opposed to, say, a chef-driven, so our, our menu does not change a great deal. Every once in a while, we'll add things that are just incredible that we found that we like to do, something seasonally like stone, stone crab claws. Um, but for the most part, you'll still see the, some of the same things that we had 21 years ago, and some things have evolved since then. Our customers' favorites, well, besides our steak, which is, as I said, beyond, beyond, um, the other things that are really big favorites are um, our Mandarin Orange Cake, which was voted into the um, Orlando Magazine's Hall of Fame a couple of years ago. So that's a huge favorite, and it just flies out of here, not only on a plate, but it flies out in boxes, whole cakes. We've already sold another one this morning. Um, so that's a huge favorite. All of our desserts are, are very well thought of. They're all homemade here in-house. We don't, we don't buy anything from anywhere else. Um, other favorites are our um, broccoli au gratin, in fact, we tried to take that off the menu one time, and that, that did not work well. Um, we, were, we were told that that was not a good idea. So we put it right back on, because we really wanted to make our people happy. And then um, our Chateau potatoes, which is our signature whipped potato, and it's just a really good complement to all of our beef and our fish dishes. So those are a few of our favorites. We have lots. Oh, I'll tell you one that's really huge right now is our um, Shanghai-style um, calamari. It's, kind of, it's, it's lightly fried with a kind of a sweet, hot sauce to it, and it is, uh, it's been very well received. Well, our wine lockers are available to our guests who are just huge wine enthusiasts. They are, a, um, for a, a fee for the year, they get to keep their wine lockers. They are temperature controlled, so they are, they are the same temperature as our wine rooms are. Um, and they can either bring in their own wine, Dan will help them find wine, whichever they want and then for the um because they uh, do have their own wine locker we do not char charge a corkage so um and then they get to have their name out there and that's kind of a, a business thing they enjoy so and then the bar itself um our bar is um it, it's it's a, it's kind of a dynamic place you'll find everything from 22 year olds to 72 year olds sitting up there and everybody's having a good time and visiting and it's just you can have full 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 um, menu up there you can eat up there if you prefer you can just have a drink before you go to your table and our um, bartenders a couple of them well at least one of them has been here since the day we opened and the other ones have been here good anywhere from eight to 20 years i mean it's really we have great staff along with our bar but just in in particular our wine list is very 
um, extensive. And we, we, in fact, we've had several wine dinners to, to highlight the, the awesomeness that I think of as our, as our wine list. But also we have the largest single malt scotch collection here in Central Florida. So if you're a scotch lover, this is the place to go. And we have been building our bourbon portfolio, which is my personal favorite. And um, we will be having um, uh, probably a bourbon dinner here pretty soon. We're kind of in the works with that as we as we build our portfolio. So that's that's been really fun and dynamic. And then on top of that, we've even created some fun little scotch tales. Um, that's what we call them, scotch cocktails, um, to help people kind of learn how to drink scotch. Because even I, I'm not a scotch drinker, so and I had never drunk scotch, even though I remember now my, that's what my mother drank. But um, just to try to kind of get get into it, I'm I'm a baby, so we made we made baby cocktails for me, and then we made some really cool old like rusty nails that everybody's enjoyed for years and years so well the obstacles facing a restaurant these days um, just the obstacles themselves vary they could be anything from just the challenge that you'll have of any time um, having in our case an older building and just keeping it up and and making sure everything works in that way but also the culture here in Orlando has has changed a lot in the last 21 years when we first opened there was one other fine dining steakhouse a little to the north of us and us and that was it. And so if you wanted a pretty decent steak, that's 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 all you had. So in the meantime, think about all the, the, the wonderful steakhouses and, and fine dining restaurants. We have really matured as a city in our food. And so that's exciting. And so now you have a lot more choices. You can go to some of these really creative restaurants. Um, some of them steakhouses, some of them not, some of them I mean, you've got vegan places out there. You've got all sorts of exciting things. And so the challenge in that is to um, find your niche, niche and, and be okay with it. And we are a fine dining um, USDA prime steakhouse and old Chicago style. And that is okay. And that is who we are. And we're quite proud of it. And we've been doing it pretty darn well for the last 21 years. And so um, that's, you know, part of the challenge is just realizing who you are and being okay with it and then promoting it. And so, you know, we've just been very heavy in promoting who we are and, and how we how we work. Our future plans, besides doing a lot more of the same and, and, and continuing, um, continuing to um, provide the best beef and fish that we can and, and awesome dining experience. We love to um, look at some new concepts. One of our new things that we're getting ready to do is we are promoting um, fantasy football because it has gotten to be such a big deal and, and we have a lot of gentlemen that come here. We have a lot of ladies too, but fantasy football is getting, you know, it's gotten to be quite the deal. So because we have nine private rooms, um, we thought, well, heck, we'll just enjoy and invite people to come in and have their fantasy football parties here. That way, you know, mom's not finding that chicken leg behind the TV a week later that she really didn't want to find. And they can come in here and they can have a good time. We have all the audio visual for it, things like that. We're trying to, um, uh, we're, as I said, we were building our bourbon portfolio. That's something that we will be looking to. We're going to come up, we're going to um, be promoting pretty soon our uh, fall back to school wine series. Um, we had a summer series that was very successful. We'd love to be able to do some more of those because it's, they're, you just learn so much and they are so much fun. Um, and then uh, that's, you know, looking at uh, some things that we'll, we'll have to be looking to back to the obstacle question is, you know, health care is going to be something that we have to look at and see what the government says about that. Uh, minimum wage is going to impact the restaurant industry really hard if they, if they come through with that. So we'll just have to look at those challenges and try to meet those as they come along.